Hey guys, so we're out on this site again today. We are gonna get some more wood cut. Brought all the saws, not sure which one I'm gonna use. Um, one thing to look out for is we've had quite gusty winds and I've seen a couple trees down already, but we don't know if there's anything down over this road. So my plans might change really quick once I get down here. Oh, looks like there's one that came down right there. Look at that. Oh, yes, indeed, I do believe. Because that one right there was already down. This one laying across there, I don't believe that was down. I've got a little bunny rabbit in the road right in front of us. All right. Anyway, um, looks clear so far. I mean, like I said, I see stuff off to the side that creek's not flowing anymore oh come to think of it we've gotten a lot of rain too since i was here last so that's something to keep in mind anyway we'll uh we'll get the truck parked up find out what we're doing today and uh we'll get to doing it so it looks like we're going to start today off with a lot of wood moving a lot of pulling stuff out of, out of the bush. which is fine it needs to be done just getting it up on the side of the road there. You know what, I wonder, have I got, oh yes indeed I do. I don't think this being oak, I don't think this is gonna be sharp enough. Yeah, this is kind of just a waste. This stuff, look at the bark fall off. It's all seasoned, ready to go. You'll see some need to be cut. Just want to clean this up a little bit. Make it less of a tripping hazard. out for that poison oak. Yeah, see this stuff? It's a lot lighter when you get to the top of the tree that was rotten.
mosquitoes out here. All right. Oh, my God. 
It sounds like the, uh, oh my goodness, the chain just got ridiculously tight for some reason. Not 100% sure why. Back it off a little bit here. That clutch is burning. What happened? I mean, everything looks okay. It's really hot, though. It doesn't look like it's got any oil coming. I mean, there's oil in here, but... All right. It needs to be it needs a good cleaning, that's what it needs for sure. We'll get it. Just get it put back together here and
live to cut another day. Yeah, something happened in there because the chain is really, the bar and chain is really hot. Not a big deal though. Do we have any oil? We had oil when we started. Yeah, there's oil in it. It's, I wonder if my oil system's clogged up. Got a little bit of fuel left. We'll dump that back in the bottle. That's what I've been doing a lot lately, guys, is not leaving fuel inside the equipment when it's not being used. Because some of the old equipment, like the McCulloch, it just evaporates out. It's just a waste of money. And some of the stuff like the Husqvarna, sometimes it just leaks right through the engine, so. Yeah, we'll just. And fuel's not cheap nowadays. I don't know where you guys buy your fuel, but mine is not cheap. Paying like, Five, five and a half dollars a gallon now. All right, so we'll just swap it out with another saw and uh, keep on keeping on. Actually, I need to work on getting that that big stump up here. That's what I'm going to do now. I think. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. Oh, you guys are terrible. There's not much better. Oh my God, there's bar oil all over you. All right, we'll get you cleaned up, then we'll come back. You guys hear that? It's like the problem I'm having with this machine. There's like fuel that leaks into the cylinder after I shut it off. I hope you guys can hear that. Maybe somebody can give me a pointer. It usually doesn't once that happens. Now, oh, see. Yeah, nothing I do to it will get it to fire. Oh, well. Not concerned about it, we really don't need it anymore for today. This guy is gonna be the pain in the rear. No way that's coming out without some persuasion. We'll get her out though. Get this Mac started.
going to carry that thing up there, up here, but I think I'll bring you guys down there to see it. Look at that. I don't know if it's just me. Can I turn my screen on? There we go. Get it in the light. Seems like cutting down those crotches is always a pain in the butt. But it's cut now. Now at least it's light enough to work up there. All right guys, so here's what we got. We got this pile out here. I got pretty much everything cut up down here, but I, I brought the axe down and pulled some of these pieces out of the underbrush. So a few more pieces to cut up. Maybe you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like maybe ten pieces, dozen pieces, but I'm gonna spend a few minutes and go for a walk. Oh, I just found another piece. I just stepped right there. Look at that. Yes, indeed. That's absolutely another log. More firewood, okay. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I saw, I think I saw something down this way. Oh, and I wanna go look at that pine tree. I think it was a pine tree, but you know, the one over there we saw on our way in. So I'm gonna do that right now. When I walk down there, I'm probably not gonna bring you guys with me, but I'll bring you up to that, that other this one that we saw on the so way in. interesting to me. Look at this we'll tree. Go check it out. I know it's, it's hard to see, but it's alive. Got leaves on it, but look at this. Look at that right there. Sorry, I gotta watch where I walk. Look at that. Just, its insides are all twisted and ripped open. And, and this thing's, this, it's going, coming over. It, I mean, look at it, it's, it's coming over for sure. That's gonna be a, a future blowdown probably. I found this guy, isn't this a nice little stump? Got all the woodpecker damage on it. This guy over there though, that's the one I'm somewhat concerned about because if it falls, it's fallen in the road. And I know I said I wasn't gonna take you guys with me and I did, I, I do that. This is all poison oak. Okay, well, that kind of starts to solve that problem, doesn't it? <laughs> Now I gotta be really careful where I walk. Look, it's all in the underbrush here. So this guy, this guy right here is a concern of mine. But now that I see how much of this nastiness is growing below it, we're gonna leave it alone. We'll let it fall to the road and then we'll deal with it from there. Yeah, cause look at it, it's just done. Just finished. Dad, it's already hanging down. Look, this is the road right here. See? We're right at the edge of the road right here. And here's the top of that tree. I bet if I gave that a good yank, it... I'm worried to do it. It's just going to break off, and then I'm going to have to deal with it today. God, it's already got all kinds of broken limbs up there. Anyway, all right guys, here she is. Take a look at that other tree. Not sure that is all, looks like poison oak growing up there though. Maybe we can get around the back side. I just don't, you know, I've had poison oak like all year. And thankfully the first time was the bad time ever since then it hasn't been that bad But I've still had it and I just I don't want it. I don't like it. You know So we'll just kind of take our time and mosey on up there I mean, it's not only the poison oak. It's the mountain lion the rattlesnake the everything else We got to watch out for while we're running around in the bush um you know what, guys? That's the top of that tree right there. You know it? 
Yeah, because this one uprooted right here. But that one on the other side? It's got to be, because that tree, the top's gone out of that tree. Wow. Okay. See this, guys, right here? All, all poison oak. Stay away from that. Don't ever get it. Anyway, guys, I am going to shove off to the next job. And, uh pretty pretty quick one I cut some wood up there last week I just got to load it up and haul it off today I'm gonna start cutting this stuff soon I think maybe next week we'll come in here and start cutting all this old pine up might take a little bit of that home firewood I don't know we'll see a lot of it to clean up a lot of stuff to do so all right guys hey thanks a million for watching we'll catch you on the next one